To get started with your custom Git repository, we'll have to go ahead and first create an account. We can do that by clicking on the sign up button on the Codemagic homepage. Now we need to supply some basic details about our account. After we've done this, we'll reach the start screen of our Codemagic account. So now it's time to head over to our custom source control provider. For this demonstration, I'll be using Azure DevOps, but the instructions will be more or less the same no matter what Git system you're using. The first thing we want to do is provision an account that Codemagic can use to clone our code from our Git source control. Make a note of these because we'll be using them again very shortly. Now it's time to log into Codemagic with our account. After we're logged in, we just need to click on the Add Repository button up the top right hand corner of the screen. After we click on this, we'll have a pop-up box to give us an option to put in our repository URL. After we have pasted this into the repository URL box, it will be prompted for a username and password. These are the details that we set up earlier, so let's go ahead and enter them now. And from that, we should now be able to start our very first build. So that's how you connect to a custom Git repository from Codemagic. Of course, if you need any help from our community, or you just want to talk about continuous integration and continuous deployment, come and ask in our Slack channel. It's really easy. Just click on the help icon and then click on the Slack community button. We're always happy to help out with any issues you might have.